In April 2020, Uganda began um, the path to launch, to work towards launching our first satellite in space. We sent three graduate engineers to study in Japan on a program called BAD-5. BAD is B-I-R-D-S, or BAD, 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 BADS-5. It's an abbreviation. So one of the requirements for the training was that they develop a satellite. The, the outcome of their studies was to actually develop an actual satellite, uh, a type called a tube satellite, which has been named PAL Africa Sat 1. PAL Africa, PAL for the PAL of Africa. PAL of Africa, but we say PAL Africa Sat 1. So this program is being implemented um, with the CHUSU uh, Institute of Technology, which is often abbreviated CHUTEC in Japan, and it has four objectives. The first objective is to develop, test, and launch Uganda's first satellite in, into space. The second program was to offer specified training on satellite development to Ugandan graduate engineers from mission conception and the definition of the problem to launching the satellite in space. The third was for, to establish Uganda's first satellite communication network. And the fourth is to establish a space laboratory in Uganda to facilitate knowledge transfer and, cons and uh, construction of subsequent satellites to develop the space technology industrial value chain. So in addition to this participating in the training, uh, our engineers are going to get masters of science in space systems engineering, which they will be completing in October this year. Uh, these students uh, or engineers, uh, they are by names, engineer Eddie Gamujuni, engineer Derek Tebusweke, and engineer Bonnie Omara. Um, so this morning, uh, these students completed the development of this satellite. And this morning, we remotely participated in an event uh, at the Prime Minister's office where the government of Uganda, represented by our ambassador in Japan, handed over this satellite to the Japan Space Agency to finalize some tests. And those tests will be done in about five days. And then it will await launching together with other satellites and by NASA. Uh, the American Space Agency. So it will be launched uh, on the same uh, vessel that will launch uh, some other satellites in August. After this space, this satellite is launched, by the time it is actually launched, we will have finished putting up what we call the Earth Station, the laboratory here, which we are working on at Impoma in Mokono. Is that Mokono? <laughs> it's in Mukono. I know where the site is. And uh, that will be the station where we will have uh, the computers that will be receiving information uh, from the, our satellite. And then we'll analyze that information and we will use it. This particular satellite has been designed to provide information which is going to be used for weather forecast we are going to be having more accurate weather forecast because the satellite will be localizing and will be reading the data from Ugandan satellite. It will also help us to view our land, look at our land, uh, water bodies, 
and will also be used in minerals mapping. Uganda has a lot of minerals and we have a lot of exploration. It will also be used for monitoring our agriculture. Uh, it will be used to monitor disasters so that if there are imminent floods, we know long before the flood actually occurs so that we can take pre, uh, mitigation or prevention. It will also be used to collect information to help in infrastructure planning and will also help in monitoring border security as well as other things like uh, uh, dis uh, crop diseases and epidemics. So with uh, this launch of our first, satellite, uh, our first satellite in space, we have officially inaugurated the Uganda Space Program. We are going to be building our own satellites now from Uganda. Once these engineers come back, working together with the engineers now in Uganda, including those at uh, Science, Technology, and Innovation, and those in our universities, the next satellite, we shall build it ourselves. And uh, we are also going to be working on a lot of satellites, on a lot of products. We call them products. We'll be working on parts, producing spare parts for satellites. And uh, we'll also be using that information for many other applications in our country. So that's the program that we had today. Uh, science, technology, and innovation, we have a very ambitious program for our space program. And that has been inaugurated today. We are proud of our engineers, and uh, we look forward to establishing a well-functioning and well-coordinated space uh, science and technology institute as guided by His Excellency, the President. This function this morning was presided over by the Right Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Honorable Nabanja. And it was attended by the public, the media, and uh, other cabinet ministers. Thank you very much.